I am at the start of Avenue of the Giants. Here's my first redwood. It's not the biggest, we're going to say. That sucker is big. These other trees are big. I mean, they're just everywhere. Unfortunately, it's really dark in here because they're so big. So let's see what happens as we head up the road. So I know it's really dark. But check this out. These are, it's just a road that has redwoods all, you're surrounded by redwoods. They're just these massive, massive trees. The speed limit on this road is 55. I don't know why anyone would want to drive 55 through this stuff. This is gorgeous. Of course, now that I say that, we're not seeing so much in the way of redwoods, or these are young redwoods, I don't know. Uh, once again, really dark. i got to see if I can change up the lighting on this. I've got this tree right here with an 8-foot diameter. I'll let you do the math to figure out the circumference. And it just, they're everywhere. change my ISO I think that's gonna help us see this a lot better this is a small tree with a massive or small bigger than any tree I've ever seen in New England a massive massive yeah it's gonna work better with that higher ISO there's a whole grove of them they're just everywhere you drive down the road. This goes on for miles and miles. Here's the road I just came from. There's just another section of the road that I'm driving down. Giant redwoods everywhere. I don't know if there's such a thing as non-giant redwoods. I suppose if they're young. Just wanted to give you an idea of the size of what we're talking about here. Look at this thing makes me feel small. Me. It takes a lot to make me feel small, but this bad boy does it. I'm looking at it, and this isn't the biggest one I've been by, just a nice easy one by the side of the road. It's gotta be eight feet across. It, it just it's mind bought and they're just rows of them. And they go that way and they go that well there's a dry river over there. But all along this road, it's just amazing. Now here's one across the street that's fallen down and is rotting. Let me walk over here. Well, it's all messy down here. I don't really want to get down into it. But it's probably two feet below me and higher than me and I'm 6'2" eight foot diameter it seems to be the size of the big boys around here all right yet another massive one but I came over here to show you this still living that's <laughs> all big hollowed out spot down here I'm just still driving down the road and it just continues these 
massive trees that are so big they they block out the sun you coming down the road and it's sunny and all of a sudden it's not because you're amongst these giants I think if I'm not mistaken they get up to like 300 feet tall think about that it's a length of a football field tall just line the road here and I'm sure they go there's groves that go back into the the woods and all that it's not just along this road Humboldt State Park in California this isn't even a national park there are redwood national parks out here too. Here's why they call them redwoods. The wood is actually red. I passed a, a newer one. This is this is just a tree that fell, must have fallen across the road. And so they come out with, I don't know, some kind of super saw, I guess, and cut out the part that they need to get rid of and just leave the rest of it there. know how to talk about the size of this one I'm not sure if this is one or two fused together but look, look at the size of this thing look how big this is this is just amazingly massive it just is amazingly massive I feel small I love it <laughs> 